they go from that 1600 meter mark. The Mouseketeer, that one got out well and racing with it is two tone from an inside jump and Wittenberg is now racing who's outside of runners and goes to show them the way, followed by Engagement who's in a red cap, DJ Detsky's outside of runners, then it's knock on wood further back, they four or five lengths off the leader, Black Wing is in the middle with Kavanaugh in a red cap who's now racing outside of them, they seven, eight lengths from the leader, Balsara, Pierre Jordan is well placed in about eight or nine off that leader as they travel now to the 1000 meter marker, well which year is now racing alongside of Pierre Jordan and those two are in good company as they go stride for stride. Then it's Rudrose further back in the field, followed by Flirtation behind that. They being followed by across the ice, they about 11 or 12 off the leader. Impinosa Hen is also further back in the field. They homeward bound and dance with the Devils at the back end of the field now and 12 or 13 from the leader. 600 metres to go. The Mouseketeer between runners. Wittenberg is right there. Engagements further back in the field. Kavanaugh runs behind that lot. Pierre Jordan's going to go through on the inside. Well, which is in the all black. Then DJ Detsky further back in the field. 300 metres to go. The Mouseketeer. Well, which is coming out of the pack in the black on the stand side. Well, which on the inside engagement. And Pierre Jordan is there as well. Pierre Jordan on the far inside. Engagement and then well, which year. Pierre Jordan is coming home best of all in the closing stages. And Pierre Jordan has won it well. From engagement right there. They were followed in the black cap by two-tone Orwell Witchier. It's one of those for third in the Piermont Empress Palace Charity Mile. So, Pierre Ladies and gentlemen, he was the people's horse last year and the year before. He remains the people's horse. His name is Pierre Jordan and he was absolutely beautifully ridden by Derek David. Congratulations, Squire. Great to have you here. I know that there have been some disappointments in your life, but this horse will surely carry you on high for many years to come. Yes, he will. You know, he's, he's my favorite horse. Every time I ride him, he brings tears to my eyes. He's a champion. Once a champion, always a champion. I say he'll go on from here. Blinkers have improved him. Well done to Gary and Dean for taking the, to, for the, the bravery, for putting Blinkers on in a great two. Not many people are doing it. A lot of jockeys were speaking. What are they doing? What are they doing? But they knew, know what they're doing. They've been in the game a long time. And thanks to them for keeping me on the horse. And, you know, it means a lot to me. To Tim and Chris Hurley, to Emilio, to Gary, to the other owners, all the owners involved, thank you very much. And also to Tim and Chris, my sponsors. Yeah, I guess that it's a fairy story for uh, for Summer Hill Stud, for Empress Palace, because he has carried their banner so successfully, having won this race as a juvenile, having won so many big races. I mean, he is the people's horse without any doubt. He is, and uh, Andrew, I don't think I'll ride a horse like this in my career again. They come around once in a lifetime. I was very fortunate at the age of 22 last year to, to get involved with the Gary Alexander Yard and to be in, involved with this horse. He's special and he means a lot to me, and, and he's the people's horse, as everybody said, and I must treat him like that. Well, here's your trophy, Bob Urim, the Chief Executive Officer of Empress Palace, to give Derek David his trophy. And of course, this is the stuff that dreams are made of. The Soap Girls, if you could come around here, Millie and me, we'd love to get a photograph of you with the winning jockey and of course the CEO. Yeah, there we go. And while we've got them here, it's very, very important to realize that they have won 100,000 Rand for their charity, which is the Animal Anti-Cruelty League. Millie and me, congratulations. I'm sure this rates up with the most ex fantastic moments in your life. Oh, it's like been such an amazing experience. It's surreal. Experience. Yeah, we yeah. are so ecstatic. I don't think I've ever like felt my heart beat as fast. It's it incredible. So, and, and it's for an amazing cause, so we're really, really happy. Everyone asked, like, do you think he's going to win? And we said, you know, hope is a beautiful thing, but never be too sure of yourself so we just hope and you know things happen for a reason and we're so it glad did, it did yeah, yeah. well really you happy. stick around with Pierre Jordan there's going to be so much more fun to be had on the 27th of course for San Sui Summer Cup Day but congratulations for being here and for your cause 100,000 Rand we'll give you the check in a minute we just want to have a chat to Gary Alexander the winning trainer cool oh, thank, thank you. you Gary Alexander come and join us sir congratulations I, I've uh, 
got no words for this because the roar from the crowd was reminiscent of one of the greats of yesteryear and he has become one of the great racehorses of South Africa. Well, we've got to thank the public out there and he's following. He's got a huge following on Facebook and uh, the amount of calls and that I get over Peugeot Don is just fantastic. And I'd like to thank the public for all the support in that and uh, if we can get a few more horses like Peugeot Don and have the following, it'll be great. But, I want to get your sister in here, Julie. I, I, I have to see this on your, your beloved sister standing next to you because she's been on air. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. And of course, the publicity of, the, of this whole campaign surrounds Julie. But of course, the hard work revolves around you and Dean and the rest of your team, Ashley, etc., etc. It must have been so difficult for you, Julie, standing up there, seeing your boy come home. No, it, it, you know what? Not difficult. I lost my voice, Andrew, because I don't know how I'm going to do the races after. It's because of the screaming and the shouting. But that's what he does to you. So, you know, whether he wins or whether he places, he's just a, an exceptional horse. And we're so blessed to have him in our stable. We're blessed to have Piers. Jordan at the top of the tree. Of course, you will never ever forget what Igugu has done for South Africa, but the bottom line is that Pierre Jordan just keeps on giving his best every time he runs. Well, Andrew is a great horse. You know, uh, there's not much we can say more than what he's done for me and, and my team as well. I've got a great team behind us. But Derek rode a very good race, confident race. I've got to thank Doug Douglas White in Hong Kong. He rode this horse in the July and he got off. He said, Gary, this horse needs blinkers. And he said, try it at home and if I'm Wrong, I'll apologise, and I could see today he knows what he's doing, and I got to well, clever because he didn't have to ride the horse. <laughs> uh, you know, you got to take it from the master, and he is, he is, and of course, uh, you know, my father, my mother, they support through the years, and uh, you know, 20 years ago we ran first and second in the November handicap with uh, Kick the Habit and Naval Guest. Naval so, guest, yes. you know, time's gone, and it's lovely, and I've enjoyed the trip, and uh, it's just nice to have everybody around in the vibe that we've got. Another great thing is Bob Urim, what he's done for racing, Empress Palace, Piermont, we've got to thank Bob. And there's so many people I'd like to thank, Andrew, and the new owners that have come into Peugeot Dawn, Chris and Tim Hurley, you know, for their support in the yard, and uh, Adrian Guritich as well. I mean, it's just fantastic that the owners keep on supporting us. I'll tell you one thing, Peugeot Dawn carried 61 kilograms. Larry Weinstein's carrying a little bit more at the moment, and he's got a special trophy for you, Gary. The winning trainer, Gary, obviously we're going to present... CD is coming to present the winning trophy here to Gary Alexander. We had a chat to her early on in the build up to the Empress Palace Charity Mile. CD, thank you very much for your support. Congratulations, Gary. Emilio, the winning owner amongst many, one of the stalwarts of racing in South Africa. Come and join us, sir. Thanks. Thanks Bring pleasure. your beautiful children with you and your grandchildren. Obviously, always. You must be so proud of this guy. Yes, I'm very, very proud. Um, I was making a little consideration about the next race that he might get some weight a little bit more on, but we proved something new. Blinker did well. Blinker relaxed him, and he's normally a quiet horse, but uh, if you see a lot of people become a little bit nervous. Yes. So I think Blinker was good idea. Well, there's but not much left team. for him to prove, but if he wins the Summer Cup, he will go down in South African history as one of the greatest horses ever to race in South Africa. That I can assure you. Uh, if look, not already. <laughs> well, look, I think he's a, he's a very good horse at the moment. He's a stunning champion. And uh, as I said, the old phrase is a thrill of my life. After this one, obviously. After these beautiful children. Bob Urim is the chief executive officer, and he has a beautiful trophy for you, Emilio. And of course, the 100,000 Rand that goes to the charity, which we'll present in due course. We've got to have Chris Hurley into the picture over here, one of the new owners. He's obviously had to pay top dollar to get into this partnership, but that's what it's all about. Hearty congratulations to everyone concerned. And we've got the Animal Anti-Cruelty League 100,000 Rand check to be presented. CD once again will present, you, you can stick around, the 100,000 Rand check to the winning charity, the Animal Anti-Cruelty League. They receive 100,000 Rand for having won with Pierre Jordan today.
So horse racing is giving back to the community that it supports and that support it. CD, we talked about we talked about this in our preliminary build up to the big race. Yes. That moment of truth when the horse crosses the line, it is here. The money's being handed over. You must be so proud um, as an Empress Palace representative. I'm ecstatic. I must say um, it went very well today, and I think um, congratulations and good luck to the winning horse. You know they did very well, and uh, I think we're excited that the money is now going to be used for what it's supposed to be spent on. Well, we are very, very grateful and privileged to have Empress Palace and, of course, the Piermont Group as part of the racing fold. We hope for many years to come that you'll be supporting us and uh, being part of this wonderful sport. Yes, we will. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tidi. And finally, a, a little opportunity to speak to uh, Bob Urim. Sorry, let's, let's just see if we can rearrange the presentation over here. Can we get this, the, uh, the girls in? Have we got another trophy to present? The winning groom, the winning groom. Yes, indeed, the winning groom. Gary? Philip, if you can come and join us. Congratulations for turning the sauce out so beautifully. If you can face the camera, my friend. Larry Weinstein's got your trophy and, of course, your check. And, Bob, if we can have that check. Well... All I can say, if we can face the camera there, Bob, is that everybody wanted to win this race. Yeah. And I'm sure that everybody will never begrudge the fact that Pio Giordano has won the race because it is just a fairy story that a horse with the top weight has come out at the top of the whole thing. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's not just uh, that it was a top weight and it uh, won the race. It actually came off the sale three years ago. Yep. Gary paid 60000 for it three years ago. And I think with the win today, it's taken it up to about four and a half million. So, great result for us. Uh, we've always had a soft spot for the horse. I think everybody on the track has always had a soft spot for the horse. And I think it, uh, it's the people's champion. Huh? So well, Obviously, an instant marketing plan for Sir Mickey Goss. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, no, we're so chuffed. Huh? It's the, I mean, well done to all of the guys who participated. But uh, my, my personal choice was uh, Pierre Jordan. When I looked at the card this morning, I thought it was maybe it's just a little bit above, you know, class, and uh, it's a it's a fantastic horse. It's like Pegasus. It's, Indeed, it is, yeah, Bob. Yeah. Bob, we're going to have a chat to you a little bit late in the afternoon. We've got to do the replays, but to your team, thank you so much for supporting the the day, and we'll be back right after the break. Thanks very much, Andrew. Thank you.